Hi, two of you. Welcome to my channel. This is your reading for the month of October. I'm going to start with a message for you from the Sarah de Marseille. And we have the world, the sun, the devil, the fool. And the result of your message is the wheel of fortune. The world is joy, wealth, honors. The sun is intellectual tendency, artistic gift. With its satisfaction of so making a journey. New moral and material stimulation. The devil is fate. As with the will, it's like you are alternating frustration and satisfaction. The fool is inconstancy. The with the devil sometimes means marriage. Better health. And the real opportunity in the century this week, it's changed. A lot of things are changing for you this week. And be careful with financial speculation or sensual enjoyment. A new message from the moment this week is love. Love is coming in for you. Love. Open yourself to universal or romantic love. Put yourself out there and maybe go on a date or rekindle the love within your current relationship. Yep, this is your message. And now your reading for this month. This is your first week, your second week. The third and the fourth week. In the first week we have the lovers, the king of wands and the page of wands. The lovers is a choice in love of something new. You have to make a choice but I think it's a choice in love because we have just right here the king of wands and it's someone um, very attractive, powerful, is a leader, success, an entrepreneur, mm, a creative visionary. And we have the page of France. I feel it's you. You are very exciting about something. Pay attention to your society here. New idea, new dream, a new passion about something, trying new things, great energy, creativity. You're feeling very enthusiastic. In the second week, we started with the sun, the queen of wands, and the ten of swords. The sun is joy, happiness. You are feeling very happy. Okay, it's the best card from the tarot deck. And we have the Queen of Wands. Next to the King of Wands, I feel you are. If you're looking for love, it's showing up and you find your match. And you are feeling very strong. It's creativity, passion. She's powerful. And helping others, very confident. It's joy. And with the Ten of Swords, you are walking away over something. But I think you are walking away over someone else. Because we have a choice, maybe we have two people for you and you decide for the king. 
I'm looking over there where over the thing, no more thing. It's um, you are free right now, okay? You free yourself, no more pain, no more fights. I like the ten of swords. You are feeling good right now. And the third week of October, uh, we have the world, the five of swords, and the seven of swords. The world is the, the cycle is ending. And it's a uh, accomplishment, happy ending, abundance, it's good energy, it's success, new level of consciousness, sometimes means traveling in the world. And we have the five of swords, the five of swords is conflict something unfair or maybe a lot you're thinking a lot mm. and we have the seven of swords and it's deception or betrayal and you are lying to yourself and you're feeling bad about that or to others mm. The universe bearing rightness to true intentions, getting away with something, mm. moving silently and quickly. The seven of swords with the moon is an illusion. It's the first week of October. It's an illusion in a secret. Mm. You have to face in your fear. Trust your intuition because you are safe. And we have the page of swords. It's you, you have a new idea. It's a message too. You have a new idea, you are you are learning, studying something new. It's creativity. Have a new plan in your mind, and you're feeling good, and you are celebrating the three of cups. You are celebrating your project, I feel, with friends. It's a celebration. You finish the month with a celebration, okay? Scorpio, this is your reading for this month. Thank you for being here, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, take care, bye.